Yeah, we've got a bit of, not a lot of bloom, a little bit of bloom on it. Um, which I'll just pull back for this. I'm going to dye a bit of silk in it and then a bit of paper and we're going to feed it and put it away until tomorrow. Okay, it's another piece of silk and oil that's been um, dyed with besom flour before with not much result so we're just going to dye this little scrap of oil. One. And I will get some more of the Indian when it comes. But this is more like the indigo we make here like when we've made our own indigo, it's the same beautiful grey blue. If you look at the Indian indigo dip, that's from the Indian bat. Now I'm going to just dye the, um, the kit bag that we scoured this morning. Really a beautiful grey blue. So this was the pattern we made this morning. No. So this is now um, a pH of 11. It was 10.7 after we made it. I'm going to give it a little bit of fructose and I'll top up the calx a bit. It's been a bit of a treat after it's done a bit of work for us. That's the fructose. You can see how the calx is just sinking. Now it's starting to sit on the top, that's about right. Give it a good stir. We'll put it to bed for a while. 